Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to dismiss the keyboard from a text view within the Swift language. Now on this simulator here, I have an example of what we're going to be creating. We have our simple text view here and we can simply select it. We can add text and when we finish we can press the done button and it dismisses the keyboard. We have two ways of dismissing the keyboard and it's again, click on it and instead of pressing the done button, we can then touch the screen and it's completely gone. Now the reason we have these methods and why we would want to dismiss the keyboard from a text view is because the kind of current way in how you want to import text into your projects is you use text fields. Now if you're trying to build something like a contact form or and you want a big enough area for your users to put enough information in, you're going to kind of want to use a text view. And it's a bit tricky to dismiss the keyboard as in terms of once you click it and you press the done button there, it normally uh, gives us a new line or anything like that. And sometimes if you don't want to have or don't want to have the ability to dismiss from the keyboard, we've got a secondary option where we can click the screen and it takes us. Um, it takes the keyboard simply away. Okay, then. so already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone. I've simply named it Text View Dismiss for the purpose of this tutorial. So what we need to do to set all this up is go into our main dot storyboard, where I'm going to simply change the screen size here to a relatively smaller iPhone screen there. Where we're going to add in our text view, which I'll just scroll down and find it. There we go. Pretty big, so I'm going to resize it. There we go. And I'm just going to quickly change the background color of it so when we go to press um, off the screen or basically anywhere else on the screen to dismiss it, we just simply know where our um, text view simply ends so we're not clicking back onto it. So I'll just change that color there. Okay, then. so what I'm going to do next is simply quickly add some missing constraints just so it kind of resizes and then I'm going to drag and drop it to our files owner and select it as the delegate so we can use a function statement on the text view. And then finally I'm going to go to bring up the assistant editor where I'm going to space out the outlet section here and then add an outlet for our text view which I simply call it text views. Nice and simple there to understand. Okay, so once we've done that, we close the assistant editor back to our standard editor. And then we go to our view controller.swift where we can now begin some of the coding. Now the actions that we're going to basically add in are function statements and they perform when basically we don't need anything in terms of a button. Uh, our first one to basically dismiss the keyboard on the done button um, simply happens um, by interacting with our text view. The second one, dismissing the keyboard when touching um, on the screen, is then performed basically by touching on the screen. So there's no buttons needed at whatsoever. So what we can simply do then is begin by placing in our function statement for our text view. So we start with um, func, and we put in text view, our two parentheses brackets there, text view colon space UI text view. If I can find it, it's probably all at the bottom. There we go. Comma should change text in range. And then the range is then going to simply have our colon equal our NS range. I'll explain everything that what's going on in, in just a moment. And then our replacement text is then going to move our colon equal our text colon string. Make sure there's a capital S. And then we simply do our dash arrow to equal our bool. And our parentheses there. Now, that was pretty long to place in, and we need to make sure that we return true. And for the life of me, I don't know why it doesn't automatically add it in. We have to place it all out ourselves, and by doing that can lead to some errors, which I'll just quickly check. Have I spelt something wrong? I'm apparently missing a separator. Where is it telling me I'm missing it? 
Oh, no, I'm not missing one there. We shouldn't have a colon, just after replacement text. So we just build and run that, and it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so basically how this is working is we're going to replace in um, a key in the keyboard with a different action. So because we can't dismiss it like we can with text fields, it's very difficult to do this otherwise. So what's going to be happening then, we've got this statement here, should change text in range. So what we do, we simply create an if statement. So if the text simply equals equals, and we'll create our string here. So whatever the text we're placing here, if one of our keys equals that, then we want to dismiss the keyboard. Now you may be thinking, what key or what letter or what anything on the keyboard could we basically have to enable us to equal something to dismiss it? And it's quite simple. So we do this backslash or forward slash and the letter N there. Now this is the short code for enter. And the only way we can have this placed in is by pressing the return or done button on the keyboard. Now, if it equals that, then obviously we want our text view dot resign first responder. And the first responder on our text view is obviously our keyboard. And then we want the return to be false. Nice and simple. Now, to have that done button on the keyboard, we need to go back into our main.storyboard and simply select our text view here. And we need to scroll down to return key and we need to set it to done. That's so it gives us a visual confirmation that we have a done button on our keyboard. So if we just change it to the iPhone 6 simulator now and we go to build and run. Okay, once it loads up now, we simply select it and then we can press our done button because the done button is basically the enter button on a text view. Now, because it, when we got that short code up to set up, if it equals that, then to dismiss the keyboard, so we press it, and now the keyboard dismisses. Now, there's a reason why I'm showing you the second way in terms of touching the screen. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because you may be looking at this and thinking, but I kind of want the return button in there. I want my users to be able to put new lines of data in there. And kind of basically disabling this button kind of affects what I basically want to do. Where this is why I'm showing you the second way to have a second way to basically work around it. So if you want to keep that button in that allows you to enter new lines, then you may want to follow the second way. And the second way is basically, if we select that interface here, to click on our view, is multi-touch, and then go to our view swift, and then just under our function statement for dismissing or changing the key, we're then going to basically put in our function again for our touches begin. Oh, may place another node in to put the first one in. There we go. So basically what happens is if our finger touches the screen, anywhere on the screen, then it's going to perform an action. And obviously the action we want is to dismiss the keyboard. So what we need to do is simply copy this line here, and then you're basically done. So if you go to build and run again, and bring up the keyboard, yeah, we can dismiss it from there, but if you didn't want to have that in there, we can bring up the keyboard, place in a load of text, and then when we finish, select off the keyboard, or back onto the screen, we click, and then the keyboard dismisses from the view. So like I said before, you may want to keep, you know, um, you may want to have the um, done button on the keyboard, or if you don't want to have it on there, and you still want your users to be able to return and add new lines of data in, you have another option in terms of clicking the screen and it dismisses the keyboard. So I'm giving you two options there and how you can work it around. But dismissing the keyboard from a text view is pretty difficult anyway. Apple really does not make it easy at all. It's a lot more simplified for text fields, but we are using a text view uh, in you know terms of how you would use a text field. So, you know, this is the kind of stuff you have to go through. But anyway, guys, I hope this helps in your apps or projects at the moment. And I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below.
If you want more on-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again, you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.